Okay guys, we're heading out today with Adam. We're going back to that creek. A lot of y'all wanted to see us fish. So here we go. We got Crocs on, we got water shoes on. So what are we using today? In my opinion, the two best creek baits ever made in, you know, ever. Right here, I got a cricket. I can twitch it on top water or really like a crankbait. And Adam's got this little rebel crawdad. He can do the same exact thing. We're gonna start off fishing at this bridge because there's a fairly decent hole right here. And then we're gonna get right in the water with our Crocs on and just walk it over a little bit. Try to find some deeper holes like I did last time and hopefully we can catch some bigger fish. Now there's supposedly a lot of bass in this creek and even two pounders at that. So hopefully we can get on some of them because we are going places where probably not many people fish at all. Not many people get off the beaten path or off this bridge to fish and we're actually going down the creek and in the creek. But you know, like I said, we're going to start off fishing off this bridge and fish this little hole right here. Okay, here's the first cast for me of the day. Right over there. Well, we're heading in the creek, guys. First me, then Adam will come after me. Oh, there we go. There we are, we're getting right in here, going to that honey hole. Here we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> you about died right there, ain't gonna lie. Now, if we can get back up there, we won't have any problems. <laughs> That'd be my problem. Okay, this is colder than I expected. It's pretty cold, we ain't gonna lie. Last time I was here, it actually felt pretty good. It actually felt like a swimming pool. And that was in the evening, and I guess that was from where it heated up all day, but today it ain't, it ain't, it ain't much warm at all. It's not too bad, so we'll walk a little bit. At least go this first hole where it don't get too deep, but yeah, there's a pretty good hole right around this corner. I think I just went in a deep hole. There's a license plate. Probably a stolen vehicle. Yeah. Somebody straight up probably stole something and ripped the plate off. Guarantee it. Okay, guys, we're at the honey hole I found last week. Yeah, here we go. Now we're going to finally fish it again. I highly doubt this gets fished more than twice a year. So, but anyways, here we go. I got a cricket. He's got a crawdad. Let's catch a fish. Oh dang, that was a nice one there. He blew up on it. He came. Oh my gosh, there he is. What is this? A bass? Oh dang it, he came off. Guys, I honestly think that might have been a bass. Oh, I had you, one. oh, we both had one right here. It's starting to heat up. Okay, guys, so we're sort of in a situation. Here I am, about ankles deep, but that's crazy. Okay, so like a foot over, he gets like four feet. We didn't necessarily plan on that. Adam's back there straight up struggling, and I struggled so much to get to this spot. I honestly don't think we're gonna get to make it down there. Okay, guys, I'm about to start my trek back over there to Adam. This may be the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It's just straight mud, guys. I mean, there's no bottom to this creek right now. There's no bottom to this creek. It's just straight mud. Like. You can see right there how the mud slid in. That's what we're walking on right now. You just gotta use your foot and like make a hole in it and then stand in that hole. But then again, you never know whenever that hole is just gonna give out on you and you're gonna go right out in the middle of the creek. Okay, well that wasn't necessarily the best idea we've ever had, but the creek wasn't no deeper than four foot, so if we would have fell in, we wouldn't been in danger or anything. We just don't feel like, like getting soaked today before we go to McDonald's. We're now back up here at the bridge, so we may actually go under the bridge and we may actually walk around and fish the other side of the creek, which also looked pretty good, but not as deep as that. It wasn't too deep to wade, it was just too deep to wade without getting straight up soaked now this is what we's wanting we can walk up on the edges but it's still deep enough to hold fish in the middle and this is upstream so all the dirt we're kicking up isn't going to flow down to the fish because you know the water's coming this way I ain't seen fish. <laughs> we'll find a good hole because we'll go until we have to stop oh 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 i got the first one of the day i got the first one of the day he ain't fighting. <laughs> no he ain't fighting at all i got the first one of the day though he felt pretty big because you know he's like pulled in like whole grass stalk with him but still he's a fish and that literally came out of four inches of water at least we're not skunked this is creek fishing right here a little green sunfish but hey whenever you've been up to your knees in water a little green sunfish like this feels really good i'll tell you that but a little bit of reward for jumping in a creek at six o'clock in the morning Got him. oh yeah that was a nice one there this is another that's another one just like i just caught oh no this one's a full blood pumpkin seed man Pumpkin seed, long ear, whatever you want to call it, but look at those big orange tips. Right there, that's just crazy. That's crazy right there. Not a giant at all. But anyways, yeah, that's about that's about the creek fish we're fishing for. Today we're using our cricket and a small crawdad. Think about it. What lives in a creek that doesn't eat a cricket or a small crawdad? The bridge is way over there, but we've been able to walk all this. This right here, this is good creek wading water right here. It's got a high side and a low side. The high side we can walk on, on the low side is deep enough to hold fish. As Adam has hung up, in the tree right there 
But I caught that right over there in that deeper hole. You can see we're about to hop over the log and walk around that edge right there. But yeah, Adam's hung. I don't know how this is going to end, but. And the journey continues as we oh my gosh this is a bass hole right here it's it looks really deep we may not be able to wade through it but even if this is the last stop in our little adventure thing this is a good place to be stopping because this is a good hole you can just tell by the way it looks it's got some grass over on the edges it's got a big stump over here this is perfect and it's got a good little mud spot to stand on oh got him nope he let go Oh, got it. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a bass. What is that, a bass? It's a bass. It's a bass. Nope. Nope. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Oh, oh. Uh, this is a giant. This is a stinking giant something. And he had a bass about his right there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought this thing was a bass as big as it is. He's thinking going crazy right here. Look at this thing. And he just got a massive bite. Looked like a bass. So it's right here. This is a massive bluegill, especially for creeks around here. But pretty sure there's bass in here because he just got blew up by a bass. Here's this nice bluegill. Throw him back in. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting blew up on every second. Here, we'll get you one. Before I cast again, we'll, we'll get you one. Oh, he's hooked up, son. He's hooked up. First fish. Oh, my gosh. That is a giant bluegill right there. There you go. <laughs> I want to get pricked by the hook. Oh, he, he snapper jabbed that hook. Yeah. He ate the whole treble. He just ate it. Those are really hard to get whenever they snapper jab it. I totally just made that up, but still. I've actually got pliers in here. It's a good time to use them. You want me to let it go for you? Yeah, go ahead. Here we go. But yeah, there's Adam's first fish. We came up to this spot. We, we got bit on like every cast, and it's a really good spot. It's a deep hole. We've got two giant bluegill. We've got blown up by bass, and we've not even left this one spot. So we're going to hit it hard, and we might even wade through it, because I don't, I don't even know if it's that deep. Uh-oh, you got him? Nope, come on. Oh, it's oh, like playing a guitar. Working your back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. That's either a bass or a stinking giant bluegill. I think it's a bass. That's another magnum. Oh my gosh. This is a stinking magnum. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I bet you don't find pumpkin seeds this big anywhere besides this stinking radioactive creek right here. I don't believe other places make this kind of stuff. This is straight radioactivity. Look at that forehead, guys. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Long ear, pumpkin seed, whatever you want to call it. That is a nice one right there. That's a nice one. Well, that spot right there, it got pretty deep pretty fast. We did catch some massive blue on there, though. That's a fact, okay? So, it was good. We was walking out through there. We got right out about there, and then it just straight up drops off. Okay, guys, so we're trying to get out of this creek. The only real way to get up there is go that way, but we have to get our shoes muddy first. So, what I'm actually going to try to do is just straight up jump up there and pull myself up. This might be an epic fail. It might be really good. We don't know yet. Okay. Go for it, big dog. Yeah. Hang on. Hey, ready? Yo. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you just oh, I done it. Now can Adam do the same? Oh. No, you know what? How many you pull yourself? I can pull you up there. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> give me one of your hands. <laughs> if you can give me one hand, I can pull you up. No way. Yeah, I can. No way. <sighs> It's a whole lot easier over there. Oh, did you think it was easier to come right here? Yeah. No, it's easy over there. It's it's like a hundred times easier over there. I'm just saying, I just felt like I needed to do this to show myself I could. You don't even need my help right here. You just grab it and pull up. See, it's easy now. You can put your feet up and everything. See? It's easy. Marine pollutant. And we just waited in it. Okay, so Adam's about to ask it, this guy if we can fish his pond, but we don't know if he will or not. Tell him what happened, Adam. Well, I went and knocked on the door. No one picked up. Hang on, <laughs> That's it. They just never came. I think he's too strong. He's too intimidating, man. They didn't want to come to the door and see me. Guess we ain't fishing there. Okay, guys, so we're pretty well done fishing today, but we're actually going to go check the mail that y'all sent in. I've been waiting to do a mail time on a rainy day. We've actually not had a rainy day in, like, you know, quite some while, but don't worry, guys. The mail's stacking up, and we're waiting to do an epic mail time with a whole lot of mail. 
This is from the Grey Gang, straight Grey Gang material. Some guy's trying to get in here. <laughs> I wish. Just slinging in. <laughs> just slow. At least some guy trying to park beside of us, but we're taking too much time, so he's probably just going to leave. There we go. And one of those packages from the post office is this package right here. Spoiler alert. I done opened it. Now what I have in this bag is Lanier Jigs. And I mean not a Lanier Jig, but Lanier Jigs. I got a bunch of them, son. Now I'm sure that a lot of you guys are familiar with Lanier Jigs, but here's the colors I got. I got three swim jigs, two in white, one in bluegill right there. I got three football heads, two in green pumpkin, one in black and blue, all three of them in three quarters ounce. And I got three Arky style, two in natural crawl, and one in black and blue. Now I've actually heard about Lanier Jigs for a long time, but I've just never got around to trying them out. But now I finally can. I'm gonna go ahead and rip open a football jig since, well, you know, that's probably what I'm gonna be using most. And boom, there it is, a nice rounded head good weed guard here and my favorite part about it if y'all can see that right in here that is a hand tied skirt now if you don't know what that means that basically ensures that you're not going to be casting your jig and your skirt come flying down the hook and maybe even fall off this skirt will stay on this jig until literally the whole jig is gone but anyways that's my first look at Lanier jigs here's notification squad and here's a video from the last time we waded that creek if you want to watch that if you like this video, hit the like button for me. And don't forget to tell your friends, guys, because we got to get to 100K before school starts. And as you know, that's not very long at all. And if you just want to watch some good old catfish jugging, feel free to watch this video. Until next time, I'll see you later, Grey Gang.